Another chilly one tonight, just not quite as cold as where we've been the last couple of nights, so the pipes will be just fine tonight. Now we do see some changes tomorrow in the form of some elevated rain chances. So we had the sunshine this weekend, but clouds will be back beginning tomorrow. More on that in just a bit, but first uh, still chilly uh, out there this evening at the top of the hour. We're in the upper 30s to lower 40s here across the Katy and a quick look at the upper level pattern. Still looking at broad troughing across the eastern parts of the country, but here's the wild card right here. This upper level low and that's going to continue to be on the move here or eventually get on the move and push eastward tomorrow and that's going to generate atmospheric lift and uh, help to provide healthy rain chances across our part of the world tomorrow afternoon and then going into tomorrow night. Mostly clear skies out there this evening, so temperatures will continue to fall over the next several hours. But notice cloud cover not too far away, and that's going to be building into Acadiana a little bit later on tonight. Graph model doing a good job of illustrating that, but it's still going to be cold tonight. Just again, not uh, the 20s that we uh, have been seeing over the last couple of nights. We'll be in the 30s, so still probably uh, jackets needed out the door first thing tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy throughout our Monday, and then here comes that upper level disturbance. We're going to have surface low pressure tracking uh, in the northern Gulf of Mexico, and that's where all the, the bulk of the energy and the instability is going to remain. So generally uh, just light to moderate shower activity for us tomorrow afternoon, and then that's going to extend into tomorrow night as well. Some of those showers linger into first thing Tuesday morning, but then as Tuesday wears on, we're going to start to dry things out. Cloud cover will look to stick with us throughout Tuesday. It's going to stay cool as well as temperatures top out in the 50s. We'll be in the middle 50s tomorrow and then uh, pretty much similar story into our Tuesday. Decent soaking across much of Acadiana with that feature tomorrow. Most of us picking up around an inch of rainfall, but uh, again, still not talking any flooding rains or anything like that. We are going to be looking at chilly morning sticking with us right back down into the 30s for Wednesday morning and then Wednesday not looking too terribly bad. We'll call it mostly sunny as temperatures sneak into the lower 50s by the afternoon. Could get close to freezing once again Thursday morning and then we're going to stay quiet and comfortable throughout our Thursday. Another reinforcing front is going to arrive on Friday and that's going to send in more colder air as we start the upcoming weekend. So temperatures tonight are overnight lows parish by parish. It's going to depend on the cloud cover uh, and when that decides to move in, but we'll favor lower and middle 30s across northern portions of Acadiana, mid 30s here along the I-10 corridor and mid to upper 30s across the coastal parishes. After that cold start, temperatures will find their way into the middle 50s tomorrow afternoon with clouds and showers starting to move in and those rains are going to stick with us tomorrow night as temperatures hold in the middle to upper 40s. Eventually the rain comes to an end on Tuesday morning and we're going to be left with mostly cloudy skies into Tuesday afternoon with temperatures topping out in the mid to perhaps upper 50s in spots. So fair skies out there this evening, but again, clouds building as the night wears on. So not as cold as the past couple of nights, but still chilly mid 30s for most of us by tomorrow morning and then mostly cloudy skies for our Monday with light to moderate showers moving in by the afternoon. That's going to continue into tomorrow night as well. Mid 50s by the afternoon, so uh, still a cool day. Light jacket may be needed uh, for the afternoon. Some of those showers extend into early Tuesday, but I think most of Tuesday is going to be dry. And then here we go looking pretty good Wednesday and Thursday, uh, but staying seasonably cool. Could see another freeze Thursday morning and then maybe back down into the 20s uh, come Saturday morning. So we'll see how that plays out. But overall, the week ahead and into the weekend, temperatures look to remain below normal.